today we looked at how to represent decimals through the thousands. So we looked at writing it with words, writing it as a decimal, and using the base 10 blocks to show it. So you had the example in your math journal and it said write 43 hundredths in words. So this is what it looked like. That's in decimal and using numerals to write it. Here's our number name. Forty three hundredths. If I wanted to write it as a fraction, I would have 43 over 100. And I know that because the word 100 is in my name. So I put it over 100. And then if I had my base 10 blocks, I would have 4 sticks and 3 cubes if it was in that on the hundreds one. You could also use, you write it in the place value chart. Now, what if I had the number 278 thousandths? My word name would look like this, 200 70 eight thousandths. My fraction would be 278 over 1,000. Why? Because thousand is right here. Now, why is it 278 thousandths? Because on a, if I was using the hundreds grid, and I had a thousand of them, I would have to color in 200 and then 70 and then 8. So one more example. Let's say I had 71 hundredths. 71 hundredths. 71 hundredths. So it would be 71 over 100, 100 right here. And again, if I was using the base 10 blocks, I would have 71 of the little squares colored, or 7 tens and 1 cube, which would be 1 hundredth of that square. So you had a home link today where you had to do just what we were doing on just what I was giving you examples of. So, uh, Mr. Bohr put the wrong thing. So, photo from library. Just to flip it around. So, I'm going to blow it up. I'm going to do number two. Because number one, it's probably going to be a little more challenging, and I want you to try the challenging one on your own. So, it says, for problems one and two, use words, fractions, equivalent decimals, and, or other representations to write, write at least three names for each decimal in the name collection box. Then shade the grid to show the decimals. Now, you looked at this earlier today. And so we know that one little one of these, oops, one little one that I'm coloring in red is a thousandth. 
if I color in a whole square, which I'm going to do in orange, that is a hundredth. So, so this is hundredth, and this is thousandth. And then a whole stick, which I'm going to color in green. Is a tenth. So if I'm looking at my homework, you do not need to color in what I just did. I just want to give you an example of what it looked like. So when you are doing this, you know how many to color in. So I have for number two, that's what I'm doing. For number two, I have nine hundredths. So how many of the orange squares do I need to color in? I need to color in nine of those squares. Now, I'm going to color them in purple at the right hand side. You should color your nine in here. So where I circle the purple is where you should color. That is where you are going to color. Miss Deborah is going to color on the right hand side to show you how much you should have color. So if I'm coloring nine, I need to color in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I would have all of this shaded in. Does yours match? So, I could write it as so. I could write it as 9 over 100. I could write the name 9 hundredths. I could write it like this because I have 9 hundredths. The practice says make an estimate and solve. Show your work on the back of the page. So I should see an estimate for those division problems, the work on the back of your page, or a separate sheet of paper, and answers. You will have remainders for three and four.